It's an old piece of machinery that has seen its fair share of butter, flour and water, and even after eight decades of spinning and mixing, it's still going strong. The workhorse of Byron Fry's Machosen Kitchen. And it's this giant mixer that allows Byron to bake all kinds of tasty bread, croissants and pretzels, all done by hand. But he didn't plan it this way. Baking is something he started almost by accident. I just started experimenting in my home kitchen, um, just baking loaves of bread for myself. And I was a photographer at the time, and I photographed uh, a baker, and it got me pretty excited. It took me about two years of just sort of fiddling around before I went out and, and uh, got a job. From there, the 24-year-old apprenticed at a handful of bakeries around Victoria, and after traveling around the U.S. on his motorcycle, was inspired by a fellow baker to return to the South Island, build his own oven, and well, just bake. And that's what gives it such a nice crust. Now it's his full-time job, a skill that just happens to run in the family. It turns out Byron's grandfather, great-grandfather and great-great-grandfather all were bakers, something he didn't really know a lot about until after he started baking. It goes all the way back to uh, my great-great-grandfather Charles Fry and probably beyond him starting a bakery in Victoria in the 1920s and that was kind of a movement of some some of the Fry family from first from Bristol to Moose Jaw then to Victoria. And it's almost come full circle. Before it was torn down in the 1960s, the bakery his grandfather owned in Vic West was across the street from where Byron is about to open his own bakery this fall. Finding this whole bread history and bread's kind of my most, that's what I, my passion is, so it's cool. The kitchen where Byron bakes is actually in the house where he grew up. More precisely, this was his bedroom and his bed was right over there. But that was back when he used to get a lot more sleep. I don't really sleep. I'm, I'm up until baking until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So that's over 24 hours right there. And then I drive down to market and I sell for four or five hours. And then I go home and then I sleep <laughs> for about five or six hours, wake up eat some dinner and then go back to bed till Sunday morning. And after all that measuring, mixing and sculpting, his hard work emerges. Perfectly browned rye bread baked to perfection in this wood-fired stone oven. These loaves are headed to the Moss Street Market, where he's kept busy with lots of loyal customers. And this weekend he'll be among dozens of bakers, farmers and foodies at the Eat Here Now Harvest Festival in Market Square. This is the best time of year to celebrate um, that we have all these bountiful farmers and producers here on the island and we can have corn and berries and figs and, and just celebrating the fact that we have so much local food to offer. The festival is organized by the Downtown Victoria Public Market Society in support of a year-round market at the Hudson Building. The Victoria Downtown Public Market Society puts on this annual food festival to bring awareness to the food security issues that we have for Vancouver Island and also the funds go towards uh, the permanent downtown public market which we're working on right now. But until the permanent market is up and running, organizers and bakers like Byron say local markets and festivals help remind us that it's easy and tasty to eat local all year round. In Machosen, I'm Nikki Iwanishan.